This is Jackie, and I'm here with the one and only Will Swan of Dance Gavin Dance, New York. There are really, really rambunctious seagulls outside. Yeah, there are. I just wanted to warn you. Uh, yeah, I've been hearing them through the last interview I did, so. I think, I think they're getting happy out there. Yeah. Um, There's a flock. <laughs> a flock of seagulls. Thank you. I appreciate that. Google it, kids. A flock of seagulls. You get them. Yeah. It's, yeah. So last time we chatted... Um, you and Matt and I mentioned that, yeah, not really big fans of cover songs. Yeah, not really. And then you lied. Or are you still not a fan of cover songs? Because uh, I've got to say, yeah. uh, you know, your, your Punk Goes Pop song, how'd, you, how'd that come about? I had, uh, we, well, like for the last 12 years, we just have not wanted to do Never. a cover song. Uh, we did one live, and it was like a Prince it was a Prince song, and it was just for fun at a party. So we finally were like, let's just do a cover song to see what it's like, uh, just for fun, to see what it's like to transform a song into something different. as like more just like a writing exercise. And then right at the same time we were talking about that, we got hit up by Pop Goes Punk again, and we were finally like, all right, let's do it. So we did, and it was cool. We chose the Bruno Mars song that there's absolutely nothing cool musically going on in so that I could make cool stuff and kind of turn it into a DGD song. So I think it turned out well. I mean, it was just kind of a fun thing, and um, it's out there now. So. See, I thought you chose it just so you could insert some Strawberry Swisher references, but to also construct your own stuff, I think that's a wise choice. Yeah, we would have inserted the references regardless. I kind of figured you would have. Uh, you also recently released uh, a new song. Tell us about that single and how they came about. We just thought it'd be cool for Warp Tour to do like a summer single and have it be just kind of fun and uh, less serious. So we decided to, you know, get together, write some stuff. We came up with a, a good group of songs, like a whole EP's worth of stuff, and chose like the funnest one. And summertime gladness. Yeah, just quickly put it out, gave it a silly name, and now it <laughs> exists as well. Who came up with the treatment for that video? Um, this artist in LA. Yeah, he's really good and makes just insane stuff. Is it Mateus, the same one who does your album art? Different no, it's guy. this new guy. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. When are you going to let John do some art? We always do. We just burn it after he finishes and make fun of him for it. So. <laughs> Everybody puts John in the corner. No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he does the art for our secret band covers, so there's that. Speaking of which, what's on tap for secret band? We're recording right now. Like right we this minute. We recorded some drums right before the tour, and when we get back home, we'll continue recording. So we'll have that. And then CMVAR is writing. I've got another project going, and Blue Swan's got all kinds of stuff going. So there's a lot of content that'll keep coming out from the you know our camp. So you're a busy guy for 2017. Like, you're booked solid. Uh, kind of. I mean, it seems like it, but I feel like I have more free time than most. Nice. I'm not sure how that worked out for you. So with the long um, spans of albums that you have, how do you guys go about choosing your Warped Tour set list? It's tough. It, it was really hard, actually. We had many fights. We broke up six times. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, but we just decided to do some of the more recent stuff, the new song. Um, we didn't want to do the cover and the new song, so we chose the summer fun hit. And I think we made a good choice because it's been fun to play live. I think fans out there want to know, uh, I think there were some rumors circulating about downtown Battle Mountain 3. Do you have anything you can share with that? Yeah, I saw some crazy stuff online about that. <laughs> uh, no, there's nothing legitimate about that. We're, if we're working on stuff with the current lineup, and it will not be called downtown Battle Mountain 3. Amen. Um, also nominated for two AP awards this year, uh, best live band and best drummer. Uh, so you guys will be there. Are you going to be performing? Are you going to be appearing? What's the plan yet for the APs? I think we're going to ride up to the red carpet in a limo and then stick our heads out and then leave. So it'll be fun. So a, a real guest appearance. Yeah, kind of like Groundhog Day, but with us. I uh, see. I was thinking like Dumb and Dumber with like the really loud um, tuxedos, like an orange and a blue. 
Maybe a tie dye. Mine's, Smoke coming out the top. Mine's just black. I, I think Matt's is peach, though. That's pretty pretty I'm fun. Yeah. Well, that goes really good into my rapid fire question session. Just answer whatever comes to mind. You'll see in a minute where I'm going with this. Uh, if I weren't a musician, I would be a dog. That's the second time someone has answered that. What the <laughs> fuck? Uh, my music idol is God. It's first time I got that one. Uh, the best perk of being a musician is money. The most difficult or challenging part of being a musician is? Money. <laughs> Before I was a musician, I was a? Editor. A song I would like played at my funeral? Um, it's anything by pavement. Beard who smells better, yours or Mingus? I don't know. I'll smell them today when I see them. <laughs> I told you I'd ask. Stay tuned for much more from Dance Gavin Dance. This is Jackie. Thanks to Chorus FM and One Avenue.